this sample problem might help you out if you are struggling to figure out the problems on your lab and the calculation of problem number six on homework for D or 3D. We've got a 200 gram sample of tin and much like we did in the lab, that tin is placed in a calorimeter. Um, the tin, which is heated up, transfers 3,550 joules of energy to the water, so the energy went from the tin to the water, and when the tin cools from 100 degrees Celsius to 26 degrees Celsius. What is the heat capacity or specific heat of tin? So a couple of different ways to do this. If you just understand that specific heat, if you just understand that specific heat or heat capacity means the amount of energy required to change the temperature of one gram by one degree Celsius, you could just, I know what specific heat is. I, it is energy. Three thousand five hundred fifty joules. So energy divided by mass. So that was joules lost by the tin. The mass of the tin was two hundred grams, and divided by temperature change, which the temperature change of that um, water was a hundred minus twenty six, or it dropped seventy four degrees Celsius. And you could just simply say, okay, three thousand five hundred fifty divided by 200, divided by 74, and I got 0.2399 joules for every one gram and one degree Celsius. That's not the right number of sig figs. It looks like we need um, two sig figs because 26 degrees Celsius only has two sig figs, so we're going to round it to point to four joules for every gram degree Celsius. Again, you just have to understand specific heat is energy for every one gram for every one degree Celsius. And so we just use the definition. If you really understand the proportions kind of thinking and you want this to be just like every other problem, well this time we don't know the joules for every one gram in one degree Celsius, so we it's like we don't know the other side of the problem, we don't know the specific heat, but we do know how much energy was used, 3,550 joules, and we do know that we had 200 grams instead of one gram, and we do know that we had a temperature change of 74 degrees Celsius. So if you solve this for X, it's going to amount to doing the exact same thing, 3,550 divided by 200 divided by 74, and you'd get the exact same answer. Either way of thinking about it is a perfectly fine way of thinking about it.